Hi all. This video shows a clip from a recent Chatterbox Zoom workshop in which participants are talking about films. In a previous session, we discussed film vocabulary and expressions, and then the participants had split into pairs and had a discussion between themselves about it. This particular clip shows Maria from Italy talking about her favourite film, which is called The Bridges of Madison County. And then afterwards, the other participants get chance to ask questions and I make a few comments too. So I hope you enjoy it. Maria, can you remember, can you remind me of uh, the film? Yes. yes, it was The Bridges of Madison County. That's right. That's right. And uh, I explained to Maria that I had the opportunity to see only the last 20 minutes of that film casually. And so uh, she explained the plot to me and the reasons why she had loved that film so much. Yeah. And that she will explain to you no. just right now. Come on, girl. Okay. <laughs> Come on, girl. Now, as I said uh, to Daniel, uh, I usually like watching uh, um, suspense film. No, uh, but in this case, uh, uh, I love the. Sorry, you usually, sorry, just that you usually like watching what? Substance. Suspense. suspense. Sorry? Suspense? Suspense. Oh, suspense. 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 All right. Okay. Not substance. It, it, it's where the accent was. Suspense. Yeah, thank you. Not, suspense. not suspense. 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 Isn't it suspenseful? Sorry? Steve, isn't it suspense? It's it's like talking about a genre, okay? Yeah. That's what Maria's doing. That's why she said suspense films. If you use it as an adjective, it would be suspenseful. Both are right in a different kind of way. Yes. Oh, Maria, off you go. Then. Because I only like uh, romantic film when they are a very mm -hmm. high level no listen I'm, I'm telling you this right i'm especially you marie because you're doing your exam pronounce your s at the end yes films it sounded like film to me yeah oh. maybe i said film it was a long day today <laughs> i went to school at uh, eight o'clock in the morning and i came back home at five oh. and i had, had to look to do a lot of other things <laughs> So I All right, then. <laughs> I won't. I won't. I'll try not to interrupt you anymore. Keep it off. <laughs> no, no, to. interrupt me. So, uh, so <laughs> continue. So, um, uh, when it comes to romantic films, I love them just when they are very high level. And it case, in this case, it was. Yeah. It was a romantic film um, because. Um, um, Okay, the actor, the act, the main actors were uh, Meryl Streep and uh, Clint Eastwood. Yeah. yeah? yeah. And Meryl Streep, um, okay, she was a married wom uh, woman with uh, two children and she lived in the middle of nowhere, I don't know where, in, in, in a countryside. Uh, Pennsylvania, right? Pennsylvania, in a countryside, always uh, uh, um, taking care of her family. Uh, one day, um, her husband and their and their children went out uh, for a week. For a, for they went to a fair for a week, and she was um, alone. Uh, a photographer, um, a photographer. Um, <laughs> was passing. <laughs> oh my God. Photographer played by Clint Eastwood. Okay. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Came, came into town uh, that week and she, he stopped near her house. So they met 
and uh, okay, um, she uh, they fell in love, mm -hmm. uh, and they stayed together for a week. But uh, at the end of the week, uh, um, when um, he asked her to to go with him, to go away with him, but she didn't go away because she decided she opted for her fa for her family. She decided to stay with uh, her family, even <clears throat> if she was uh, she was. Uh, um, how can I say? She was uh, devastated. Heartbroken? Heartbroken? Heartbroken, yes. Oh, devastated. Boy. And uh, after many years, uh, um, um, she got a parcel with the personal belongings, uh, with um, the photographer's personal belongings, because he died and he left uh, uh, his belongings to her. He sent uh, his belongings to her, and uh, she um, wrote a diary. And uh, in this diary, she she told this the, this love story. And uh, when she died, and, and her children found the diary. When she start when they started um, reading the diary. They were really upset. They were um, because of the disappointed with their mom, no? Because uh, they thought her mom uh, had uh, an affair with another man. And uh, but then going on, carry on, uh, carrying on reading the diary, they uh, started seeing the story in a in a different light, no? Very good, different light, very good. Yes, and they start to under understand uh, how great was uh, her mom, uh, their mom, because uh, um, she, she um, they understand that she, um, I know, uh, okay. No, that was very good, okay? It was a good synopsis. Maria said, they saw it in a different light. They saw the mum in a different light. What's it, what would be a different way of saying that? In a different way? Yeah, I've, I've said a different way. A different, it, it saw it in a different light. You would say they saw her in a different light or saw the story in a different light. What, one word f from a different... Point of view. Point of view. Perspective. Point of view. Yeah. Perspective. Point of view. Sorry? Perspective, perspective. From yeah, perspective, Maria. Very good. Yeah, that's that was a lovely uh, thing to use. Y yeah, saw her in a different light. Context. Sorry. No, no, well, it, yeah. no, not really. Context doesn't work. It, it, it's a set phrase in a, in in a different light. It, it, it's from a different perspective, like. Tanya, when she first came, she was very quiet. I see her in a different light now. She's quite exuberant and loud and fun. Okay, so you see people in a different light. It can be negative or it can be positive. Okay. Since in this I've... case, it was positive. This was positive, yeah. yeah. Because this uh, helps the, um, her children to... Um, to to change their own life yeah the, the, their their mom's experience helped them to change it for the better for the best their own lives okay the second time you said Mind life me. was better than the first time yeah because you i corrected did it, you did it the italian way the first time hmm. change your own life but Okay. I used to joke with you about this. Okay. Life. The second time you just said life. Mm, yeah. I'm saying this, Maria, because I'm so used to hearing Italian from my, from my friends, you know, and it, it over you to be da -da, da -da 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 -da, because of the rhythm of your Italian speak. Then, strangely, the second time you said it, you didn't do it. You didn't go life. You said life, which is better. And the reason I'm telling you, it's a little bit late now, you've got your exam on the Saturday, it slows your speech down. Sorry? It slows your speech down. 
if it slows the rhythm of your speech down. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, is, but is it good or bad? It's better if you can start to cut it out, okay? It's a bit late to do it for you. Don't worry, I don't want you getting flustered by no, it. No, no, tell me, because but I can... If, you, if you're going... All right, let me think of something to say. Um, I'm not talking, and I talk like this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to really exaggerate nice. I talk like this. I'm putting, I'm putting an extra syllable in all the time. So if I'm putting an extra syllable in, it's slowing it down. Instead of saying, I'm talking and I'm talking like this. Okay, exaggerate now. I'm a talking and I'm a talking I like this. Oh yeah, horrible. Oh. <laughs> I'm really exaggerating, right? Okay. But it's it's better if you can try and think and cut it out, you know, yeah. at, profici at proficiency level. All right. Yes, yes. You know, you, you are good. Your English is excellent. Just it's a bit late by Saturday, but try think. No, no. Um, I was uh, I was uh, um, I'm I'm aware of that. Uh, it's not new what you are saying to me. Uh, when new. I'm when I'm fresh. Oh, you're tired. I forgot. Listen, yeah. you know I love Italians. I loved in Italy. Right. Have you? Do you have any question? Ask her some questions. Go on, Samuel. Ask, ask Monrea a question. So if you had the chance to see this film again, would you do it? And if so, why? I've seen it a lot of times, always in English. Never in Italian. Oh, that wow. that's why I really appreciated it, because it was more uh, realistic in my opinion. Yeah, I've only seen it. I've only seen it once, or I could say the once. I've only seen it the the once, and I'd I'd forgotten the ending. I knew they didn't stay together, but I'd forgotten that he died and that she died. I'd forgotten the bits about the children. Tanya, does the film appeal to you? Yes, very much. It even reminds me um, a book, Paper Menagerie, uh, when a boy could reconsider his attitude to his mother uh, after her death while reading her diary. As well, well, it wasn't a diary, it was a, a notice, kind of notice for him. Journal. What, what, what's the book? What was it called? Paper Menagerie. Yeah, I've heard of that. It's about... yeah. yeah. It's a short story, actually, but the whole book uh, full of short stories, and one of them, uh, the most uh, touchy, yeah, very deep one, it's Paper Menagerie. Mm -hmm. Was it in English? Yeah, I, I read it in English. Yeah. Eva, what did you think? Would you like to see the film? Yes, I would like. I think yes. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's over twenty years ago since I saw it, um, and I did go to the cinema. Ray, that's super. Hopefully, you'll see from that clip just how much you can achieve by attending our Chatterbox Zoom workshops. We cover enormous amounts of vocabulary and expressions on various themes, and then. The participants get a chance to use it to practice speaking, not just with me, but with each other by splitting up into pairs or into threes. And then we have a further session as a group to discuss all the vocabulary and expressions. And as we do that, lots of other words may come up, lots of other expressions. So it's not just a case of me presenting it's a case of the participants' ideas as well. Does this work? Does that work? So we have a good old discussion. It's the way to learn. If you're studying for C1, then vocabulary plays a really major part in the Cambridge C1 exam. And when I say vocabulary, I should really say Lexis. 
to take account that chunks of language, expressions, phrasal verbs, fixed expressions, collocations and idioms are all important. And in the Chatterbox Zoom workshops, you learn them and importantly, you use them. So why not come along? Follow the link in the, in the description. It's very inexpensive. It costs £15 per month. And that's for, ooh, how many? Three per week. So that's 12 workshops if you're available a month. It's, um, it's a drop in the ocean for the amount of practice which you get. Okay, I've said my piece. So um, do consider it. It's the way to learn, the best way. Okay, see you soon. Bye for now.